Last weekend, Oklahoma City's AAA baseball team broke a league record for longest winning streak with 11 consecutive wins. As we see in this excerpt from Stateline, the Red Hawks are just continuing Oklahoma's long-standing passion for the old ball game. Baseball came to Oklahoma on July 4, 1882, when a shirt sleeve crowd gathered near Krebs. Coal miners in Pittsburgh County played nine innings before a crowd of 300. Since that day, Oklahomans have played a starting position in America's national pastime. There was a territorial league, there was an Indian Territory League, and an Oklahoma Territory League. Uh, they would they start in 19, 1895, they started having a championship. And they always played it in the Oklahoma Territory because the Oklahoma Territory was wet. And the trains full of people uh, from the Indian Territory could come to Oklahoma Territory and get a drink. A number of Native Americans who learned to play baseball, perhaps off at their Indian school, brought the game back to Oklahoma. And for example, uh, even when Geronimo and the Apaches are captured in the last of the Plains Indian Wars, and they are imprisoned at Fort Sill. So in the 1880s, it was not uncommon for the guards to oversee the, the Apaches who had been captured off of the Plains to be playing baseball. Baseball was always a popular uh, American, I mean, uh, American Indian sport. Yeah, you know, the, uh, Jim Thorpe is known for his uh, Olympic feats and his National Football League feats. And we also played Major League Baseball. So it is very popular among the Indians. The Choctaw Nation did have a team. And in fact, their star pitcher had been convicted of murder and been sentenced to be shot, uh, Will Tonka. But because they had a playoff game in Kansas City, uh, the sentence was uh, deferred. Oklahomans have excelled in the All-Star Game. Uh, Oklahoma history of baseball is written all over the All-Star Game. The very first batter in the first baseball All-Star Game in 1933 was Pepper Martin. John Roosevelt, Wild Horse of the Osage, one of the great nicknames, Pepper Martin. But Pepper was a member of the Gas House Gang for the St. Louis Cardinals. Perhaps the greatest performance in an all-star baseball game was in 1934 when Carl Hubble of Meeker and Prague struck out five future Hall of Famers in a row. Among those five that Carl Hubble and his incredible screwball that he dazzled before batters were Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig. Ruth and Gehrig played against and were good friends with two talented brothers from Hera. Paul and Lloyd Wayner were known as Big Poison and Little Poison. Some woman from Brooklyn at a ball game said, look, there's that, we meant big person and little person, but the dialogue was Big Poison and Little Poison. So that's how they got their nickname, Big and Little Poison. <laughs> The Wainers learned to hit by knocking corn cobs over the barn. But the brothers weren't the best batters in the family. I think they spent most of their time out hitting corn cobs with a hoe handle. <laughs> Lloyd and Paul saying they said the honor went to their sister Alma, the first young Wainer to hit a corn cob with a hoe handle far enough to break a barn window. Paul Wainer made it to the majors by a fluke. A scout sent to Oklahoma spent the week drinking instead of at the ballpark. He was getting on the train empty-handed when the conductor asked, did you see the Wainer kid? To save his own neck, the scout convinced the San Francisco Seals to give Paul Wainer a tryout without the scout ever actually seeing him play. Lloyd would have never had a chance to play Major League Baseball if it wasn't for Paul. And that was because Paul basically convinced the Pittsburgh guys, hey, I just played in 26. I would have been Rookie of the Year if they had such a thing, but they didn't. Both of them would have been, by the way, Rookie of the Years in 26 and 27. The only brother duo in the Baseball Hall of Fame are Lloyd and Paul Wayner. Over 300 Oklahomans have played in the major leagues, not that many more than other states, 
but a large number of the truly great players, those that went into the Hall of Fame, have called Oklahoma home.